Now let's graph y equals the absolute value of 2x plus 1 minus 3. And I'm just going to get started graphing y equals 2x plus 1. Right, so whatever is inside the absolute value, I'm just going to graph first. And okay, so that's just the straight line with the y-intercept of 1 and the slope of 2. So y-intercept of 1 and slope of 2, so over 1 of 2. All the way through. So now let's connect the dots. And it's going to look like that. Fantastic. So now we're taking the absolute value of this function. So what's going to happen? Well, this portion that is underneath the x-axis will become positive. It will be will get reflected upward. Fantastic. So there we go. And I'm just going to change the color of this part as well. Great, so now, so far, this is y equals the absolute value of 2x plus 1. Fantastic. But what do we do with this 3 over here, with the minus 3? Well, since it's outside the function, we're going to just bring every point on the orange absolute value function graph down by 3 units. So. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the slope is just going to continue to be, of course, two. So it's going to go over two, sorry, over one up two, all the way through. So let's connect the dots. I think this is going to look nice. Crossing my fingers. Not too bad. And on the other side as well. That looks okay. So there we go. Uh, did I maintain the same slope here? So over one up two, over one up two. Actually, it got a little crooked. So let's fix that. So every point went down by three units. I think that will be a little bit better now. Okay, there we go. And that is y equals absolute value 2x plus 1 minus 3. That's it.